Hello guys and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial and in this one we're going to be looking at how to set up a reference image or a reference plane um, it's also called a canvas here in Fusion 360 so, the, so those of you who've come from things like um, 3D Studio Max, Maya you'll be used to, uh, especially in organic modeling, working from a reference image front and a side view and pushing and pulling pixels and vertices around um, and you might be wondering how you do that in something like Fusion 360, which is more of a kind of a software for mechanical design, which is what I really use it for, but it can be used for some more organic shape modeling. And sometimes as well, you know, when you're designing products, um, you may have some more organic shapes or some forms that you need to follow. So here's how you set up a reference image. So first we're gonna to go to a canvas. Um, now I've already downloaded a, uh, a reference image of an Audi R8 and um, I'm going to go with that as my top reference image for now and I'll click the top there and then we can scale it and you'll see it's centered around the middle there and we scale it to the shape we want and I already know because I tried this out I need to rotate that around 180 degrees and we'll scale that up okay so once we have that to the size that we want it to be uh, we'll hit OK and there we have our top reference image. Okay, so now if we wanted to begin modeling, we might want to model from the top view, maybe first of all, and you're going to push and pull all the vertices and get it basically um, our lump of clay shaped like that. Now you're also going to need to do the side view. So it's the same procedure again, basically. We're going to go to insert canvas, and uh, this time we're going to choose the um, side view. And that's, of course, is going to go on our side view here. And then we'll scale this up until it's approximately the size that we need it to be. But there's a really cool tool here, actually, which um, I really like. So let's just uh, try to line that up a little bit. So it's approximately the size that we want it to be, but it's not exact. Okay. However, they have this calibrate tool, which resizes things for you which is pretty neat. So, you'll see here now we have our canvases. If I go to the top view and I right click and I go to calibrate, if I go from the furthest point, let's go to the top down view, if I go from the, the furthest point here to the furthest point here, it tells me how long that is. Okay, and obviously, real life, the car is much bigger than 198 millimeters. So you'd input Essentially, the, the real life size, but for the, let's just for the sake now we'll put 200 millimeters. I'm gonna model it this size and I hit enter. It now resizes everything in proportion to on the basis that, that from that point to that point is 200 millimeters. So now, if I go to this side view and I do the same on the side, you see now how it's gonna calibrate it. If I go from the furthest out point here to the furthest out point over here. Okay, I want to try and do it straight. Try that again from the side view. Calibrate so go from here to here, there. And we make that 200. And it scales everything up. So now I know that those two points are 200 apart. And now it's just a matter of aligning things. So I just need to move this side view a little bit Go to edit canvas we'll shift it this way just a tad so things line up okay and now pretty much our images are calibrated to each other so we have our side and our top view and of course you can repeat this process again for the front so we're going to go um, insert canvas insert from my computer this time I want the front view. It's going to go on this canvas here. We'll scale it up. And finally, we do our calibration. So the widest point between the two wing mirrors. So uh, if we go to our top view, calibrate, and we go from the tip of this wing mirror to the tip of this one, that's uh, 90.99. Okay. So on our front view, we're going to calibrate it basically to be the same. So we go to the front view, zoom in here, and um, calibrate. So from 
this point to this point be 90.99. That will scale it up. So basically, everything matches now and is calibrated and to scale. And we've got our three reference planes here all already set up for us to start pushing and pulling vertices and edges around to take on the shape that we want it to. Okay, so that's just a quick tutorial on setting up reference planes here in Fusion 360 and um, hope you find this useful. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos coming from Fusion360tutorials.com.